you were somewhere along this path here. All right. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> when you're... That looks funny. We're kind of here. Sure. Sure. That's we're, we're... My lines are. Those are well, some sweet lines. But you can't draw a line like that. <laughs> it's impossible. You're the only human oh. capable of drawing a line like that. <laughs> I'm okay. only human. Draw a swell for me, Luke. Like that. I can't. Guys, guys. I physically can we can't. Please, can we please be in character this whole D&D session? Here. It's not as good. It's shit. It's shit. It's shit. It's shit. That's not character. It's shit. Mordok's shit. Okay, okay, okay. Chill, chill out, guys. Chill out. <laughs> you asked. I obliged. <laughs> As for one swirl. <laughs> covered the entire fucking map. <laughs> L. Whatever. <sighs> fucking totally. Off you go. <laughs> 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 oh what my god. Did, what the fuck? How'd you do that, Jen? <laughs> there we go. There we go. <laughs> I have a huge respect for every artist, since it is really <laughs> difficult. The only art I have is the art of this Wait, can I draw over here? No, I can't. Oh, by the way, guess who has a character icon now? I do! Da -da 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 -da. Oh. Garth. Nice! Oh, Garth, okay. Okay, that looks Wait, did nice. you draw that, Jen? No. Oh. <laughs> that would have been a very amazing. You think I drew any of your character portraits? You said you drew Do our have characters. Time for that shit? You said you, you drew... drew every character except mine, Chen. No, I said it. I... Well, yeah, I did say that, but I didn't. I didn't mean I drew them for characters. I meant I was um, uh, establishing maybe... what your characters look like with you guys. That's not okay. Sure, that looks, that looks I'm not even gonna argue <laughs> at this point. That is kind of Garf. I part of him. Wait, like, oh, why oh, are oh, we oh. in the top west side? It's of the it's map. just for showing off purposes, okay? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you could also say, uh, also ask why you are uh, lying under Tiffany and. Uh, <laughs> because it's Sorry, a flat um, map. There is no up or down. It's two dimensional. <laughs> so. yeah, actually, this is yeah. Careful, we're gonna slip back into string theory in a second. No. But, for what fuck's the sake, we're not slipping back into a string La la la! <laughs> what if the world is flat? Yeah, let's leave it at the world is flat. Can we start? <laughs> if we're, if we're not if careful... If, if we're not careful, a uh, 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 fucking uh, uh, police box will show up and take Tiffany as a companion. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany <laughs> believes <laughs> the world is flat? <laughs> That was a Doctor Who joke. Uh, <coughs> actually, All right, what did I miss? that wasn't a Doctor Who joke, but okay. Just <laughs> a man oh, in a blue box. Please, box. Murdoch, you feel in your mind a slight psychic slap. <laughs> what? Ow! Is that sexual harassment already? <laughs> I'm oh, sorry, D and D God. I mean, anyway. <laughs> okay, whatever. I just never mind. Our band oh. of misfits find themselves in the nature of Tremeria. Hang on a second. Music is gone for me. Um, they find themselves in the nature of Tremeria, uh, a land racked apparently by inner turmoil between the royals um, and two opposing factions, the Order of Shaltir and the Tremerian Legion. Uh, in their attempts to come up with some sort of plan to do something about, in quotation marks, the Order of Shaltir, um, the group had made an arrangement to meet up with a very sketchy um, gentleman claiming to be part of some shadowy order. And a woman that was pretty awesome and helped us out. Uh, yeah, who is acquainted with a woman who is rather strange. And cool. um, after being extremely unprepared and venturing out into the desert, um, 
the group went through a series of trials encountering the um, human fighter known as Garth, uh, being arrested by the other shelter, and they now find themselves in a forest somewhere in the region of Siosa, the forest town of Tremeria. Uh, when we last left off, you guys had made your way away from the battle of um, saving a fawn, a satyr, sorry, from a few assassins. Find your way back to the path, and um, what would you like to do? Did this fawn ever give us a name? Oh. I was about to say, she booked it out of her name. Hmm. Ed, I mean, I have the feeling we will meet again. I asked her for directions if she stole her. Oh, she went along. Why is there a court back? Do you not say thank you, cheeky bitch. Playing cards, draw, what the fuck? Uh, yeah, took me. She, she did say thank you. Um, but right Mordok, after that, why are she you playing cards? A into the side of a tree, which appeared to lead to another forest with larger, um, larger trees, thicker roots, um, various strange creatures, and she jumped through the tree. The tree closed behind her, and I you guys made your way back to the path. I called on my hawk. <laughs> Very interesting. So uh, you let out this bird cry, and. For a moment, there's no response. And then you encounter, uh, you decide to take a moment to focus. You know, um, with your familiar with your connection, you know that if you focus hard enough, you can see through your familiar's eyes. Teriel, stop clicking on my cards. Don't Why? The fuck are these cards? Uh, please stop the cards. I, I can't hide them, but please ignore them. Why do you have cards? Don't worry I don't about know. It. They're used for some things, but don't worry about it, okay? I can play card games. Um, so yeah, it's, <laughs> you guys you guys make your way back to the path. Tiffany takes a moment to kind of um, stop the group and sit down for a moment. She closes her eyes, and when she opens them, they're completely white. Uh, Tiffany, all of a sudden, you're in the canopy of what you assume to be deeper into this forest. Um, you're traveling very fast uh, over branches, round trees, uh, dodging a few vines here and there. Um, and you feel very panicked. Um, Why? As you continue to bob and weave through the canopy, you make your way up through the brush. And as you do, you see the entirety of this forest. Um, looking around, the trees seem to be around the same height. Towards the center, there's an enormous tree, like larger than all of the rest. And to your left, there appears to be more trees similar to this large tree, um, as if they make up a larger forest. Right. Uh, as you stop, you hear a... No! Looking at you, you see the open mouth spiky uh, maw of teeth rushing towards you, scales, wings, and then nothing. And you open your eyes, and you're back in the past looking at Toriel, Garth, and Murdoch. Don't kill my hawk! I hit you over the head, Garth. <laughs> Tiffany, you okay? My hawk! I don't know if she's okay! What happened? Something big is chasing my hawk. Haha, <laughs> you finally. Communicate with, did you communicate with your bird for that eyes? My pie hawk. Like, my pie hawk. I told you we should have eaten that hawk when we had the chance. No, oh, I can summon a new one, and I'm allowed to do that, but. She's traveling in this direction towards a big tree. I want to see if my hawk's okay. Oh, oh basically, <laughs> basically, you suggest we run towards a gigantic beast that is about to eat your uh, relative. Hawk. Oh, I yeah, want to see if my hawk's okay. Uh, pass. 
so take, so take a moment take to try and focus and reestablish the connection really between your thoughts. There appears to be nothing there. Excuse me. Every time you guys want to get engaged in a fight, we all have to. Well, when we want to go save no, my no. hawk. I'm up to it. Let's go. Let's go. I want to save my hawk, Sophie. Can I not see where my hawk is? Half of us are almost dead, dead though. Look, looking around, this forest is pretty dense. There's no real... Um, you're not really able to get a sense of direction as to where it was. Um, from the skyline, you would be able to. Uh, I can do you dare kill my hawk. Can't you resummon your hawk? Mm, I can. It would take a while. And why does yeah, it matter? She'd have to learn the spell for the day. Oh. I have a spell I can use instead. It's, it's your hawk. hawk. It's your decision. Um, I can summon Unseen Servant to save my hawk. Okay. We're all, all almost dead, but yeah, let's go fight a huge dragon. It's a great idea. You can talk him into... Well, at least that let us have some of that meat. <laughs> don't eat my hawk. Um, oh, no, I don't want to, but if it's already roasted... Can I try and summon another servant? Uh, you can. Give me a second. It's the way Unseen Servant works. It might not do what you want it to do. Won't it listen to me? It will, but... It's just about what would you want it what do you want it to do? See if my hawk's okay. Because it does have a range. Sixty feet. Abby. Uh, range sixty feet. Uh Garth, what the hell are you doing? Hello? Oh, <laughs> By what is Garth doing? Where am I even? Read it's the okay, chat. Read the chat. Yeah, but you it would for, be able to that, summon that happened him forever ago. 60. I already reacted to that. Yeah, it was while she was yeah communicating. <laughs> well, while, while, while her yeah, feet, so while her you, you'd be able to summon him and probably get him up through the trees. I'm just no magic. He's amazed by you. Right. I'll just so summon he, so it and have a look. Okay. So Tiffany sits down for a moment again. Um, she pulls something out of her bag, which as she holds it up, it almost dries out and fades into dust. And as the wind carries this dust in front of her, um, you notice the wind blow, but it doesn't blow quite naturally. Um, and there's a faint shimmer now standing in between, uh, in the middle of this group. What is it, Chen? Oh. Uh, it's your Unseen Seven. What is it, but what is it? Uh, you can command it to do stuff. Climb the tree and see how far away from land we are. I mean, a city. Uh, ooh. Does that not yeah, so, so, you notice a few leaves on the floor um, sort of pushed out of the way. Uh, these very light, faint footsteps in the dirt off to the side of the path. And... Um, Parts of this tree bracken are now being disturbed as it, it slowly rises up. And then a little hole appears in a bit of a canopy before it closes behind the unseen servant. They climb the tree and looks around. What does it say? Uh, the unseen servant can't talk. Oh, can I see its thoughts? You cannot. Oh, well, how am I supposed to know? The servant being confused, but what Tiffany commands that to do? Can draw me a picture? Invisibly. It could. I give it some paper. Are you, are you telling it to come back down the tree? Yeah. Okay, so the canopy parts again. Uh, very small, about no mish size. Uh, the same bits of bracken disturbed. This, this whole exchange takes around half an hour just watching this tree be disturbed and um, it arrives back in front of you. 
and you almost feel as if you should extend some form of writing implement towards it. Um, can I draw a picture in the dirt for me? Uh, the leaves on the floor again disturbed as it moves to the side of the road. And then, almost from nowhere, a picture of the surrounding area begins to be drawn in the dirt. What is this, Chad? It places you around this point, right here, at the bend of the road. Ah! So quite close to a city. Uh, from what it draws, where the city would be on the map, there is an enormous tree. We should go to that tree. Okay. Follow. Let's just go. What? Where are we going? To a tree. There's many trees here. Every, every time. <laughs> yeah. I'm really good at typing. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah. I guess, I guess we're we going to tree. Up. So um, you guys pack up your stuff. Uh, you guys begin to make your way down the road and there's a slight disturbance of leaves and things behind you as Tiffany told her unseen servant to follow. Um, traveling for quite some time, two to three hours. That's a long uh, You don't appear to be making any progress. The forest just seems to look the same around you. You can't really tell if you are getting any closer or further away um, other than the fact that time has passed uh, as you venture on for another hour you do notice that the trees um, start to clear and bend away and there's almost it's almost like a clearing but it seems kind of overgrown as if it wasn't uh, used in quite some time. The path continues straight on through this clearing and then kind of disappears for a moment before continuing about 40 feet on the other side. It's your tree, Tiff. What do you want to do? Go for it. I want to go towards the tree. Um, at the moment, you, there are a lot of trees around you, but in this clearing, um, there don't appear to be any trees where the path goes. The path extends Is forwards in front of you around 50 feet, and then it disappears yeah, completely for about 40 feet, and then it continues on on the other side. Right, okay. Almost as if there's just a chunk of the path missing. Can I not? So I kind of. Um, am I faced with three paths? Paths. There is one path, but the road in front of you has quite a gap missing out of it. Uh, do you want to move closer to examine it? Yes. Uh, roll a perception. A four plus. Eight. Um, so you move closer to this missing segment of the path of the rest of your party kind of following you letting you take the lead at this point um, looking around you see where the path splits um, it's almost as if it was broken off and bits of the path are kind of mix in to the earth and mud uh, in this gap 
where it continues, but it was definitely broken. You can't really tell much else about it at the moment. Two seconds. So it's just in front of a tree. There's no tree. You're not paying attention, are you? <laughs> no, I'm having a conversation. So it's gonna suck when you guys get attacked. You, you well, guys decide well, yeah. I'm talking to someone two seconds. If we're getting attacked, I just die. Cause that, not really, I, I can't really help it. So well, maybe you should pay attention so you can avoid dying, maybe? I heard there's a path and then there's a port missing and then the path continues. Yes. Yes. What else did you hear? Nothing. There we go. So Tiffany investigated the path and she found that the path was broken and bits where the section is missing, the pieces that would make up the path are mixed into the dirt and earth in that gap. So let's not step on that so path. So it's basically a hole or what? It's basically it's like it exploded. Alright, there's no other trail and, or other signs of, I don't know, combat or the brute force that kind of wrecked that path. Uh, roll an investigation. Oh, damn. <laughs> Why did I have to talk? Why did I, did I have to be smart? I'm back. Right, sorry about that. <laughs> what do I... Uh, D20, right? Yeah. Alright. Any parties? Second, let me get my character sheet. <laughs> All right, we are not prepared, are we? Who are not prepared? All right, no bonus on investigation, which means basically just one d twenty. Let's go. Oh, we love. Love it. Um, looking around, you see signs which you, as a mercenary, recognize to be some form of a scuffle. Um, you notice a few weapons strewn about the floor, um, dug into trees. About 50 feet from where this hole in the path is, or this missing session of the path is not a hole. Um, there are two unconscious bodies draped in um, some form of play armor and long red capes. Okay. Are they alive? Can we go check if they're alive? Well, since I discovered them, I'll go to the them and... Uh, and is the plate uh, armor not broken? <laughs> God damn it, Luke. And, well, since I discovered them, I'll say, Hey, follow me, I found some uh, people lying on the ground. Well, and then I'll, well, check if they're still alive. I guess they're kind of scattered. Uh, they're reasonably close to each other, about 15 feet from each other. One of them is, um, he's sitting against a tree with his legs out in front of him, his back against a tree, uh, his head hanging limp. Uh, uh, yeah. Checking his pulse, but it doesn't appear to be one. Um, looking at the other guy who is face down on the floor, uh, you notice that there is a large pool of blood um, around him that's kind of seeped into the earth at this point. Okay, so he basically has uh, drunken, basically just drowned in his own blood, basically, and if he didn't die from the blood loss. <laughs> hey, well, how did they die? What wounded them so fatally? Um, I, would, I would turn him around to look at the chest, I suppose, because probably the wound must be on the front, I guess. Sure thing. Um, roll me another perception. Uh, not perception, investigation, sorry. But flipping over this body, there is one thing that catches your eye immediately, and that is around um, where your heart would be uh, embedded into this play armor is the symbol of the Tremerian Legion. Goddamn werewolves. No, how do you know it's werewolves? Who else takes hearts from bodies? No, there isn't a heart. Similar, I'm saying, I'm saying on, the, on the armor itself. 
like um, oh. or if they do his flesh, that would be really yeah. messed up. Yeah, branded into the armor is the symbol of the Tremerian League. Okay. Chen, is this similar to the attack that happened in the leather shop? Uh, looking about this, being familiar with cases from your own land, it doesn't yes, appear to be similar. Okay, just wondering. Uh, 12, yeah. So Garth, um, you notice that both of these guys, um, well the first one that is sitting up against the tree, he was killed from the impacts of the tree, like examining the back of his head. Um, okay. It's flat, it's completely flat. Um, his back armor is he's kind of the armor is sort of warped around the tree a little bit and he's almost embedded into it just from how it's wrapped around the tree. I want, I want to see if my hawk's anywhere. Uh, the other guy on the floor, um, after glancing over the emblem, you look down towards his stomach area, it just goes in. It's like a large circle or portion of his um, lower abdomen. It just goes in. As if someone had like... Um... Can I check history? So their plate armors are <sighs> useless? They're destroyed completely? You'd have a hard, have a hard time hard. removing plate armor from the guy who's sitting up against the tree and the other one. It's half inside his body at this point. I mean, you could take Damn it, it and you could weld just it. give me plate. What? I uh, yeah. Wait, why was that there? Probably filthy. It uh, what, what are you trying to check history about, Murdoch? Uh, the armor, uh, the people uh, dressed in that Tiberian armor. Legion. <coughs> what are they? What rank are they? Uh, well, you wouldn't even have to do that. <coughs> you you know that these are Tremerian scouts. Hmm. Tremerian scouts. What are they doing to you? Are they yeah. human, by the way? Uh, both of them are human, yes. From your understanding, the majority of the Legion is human. Humanoid, at least. With a few exceptions. Like myself? Wait, it's the Legion, not the Order. Hmm. Oh, can someone give me a quick... There are two factions, the Tremere Legion and the Order of... Uh... Yeah, the Tremerian Legion, um, they answer to the King. Um, they are more like the military. And yeah, the that's... Order of Shalti answer directly to the Queen. The Sun Kin, now. And um, they sort of govern magic use in the lands. Okay, and so the entire la land is kind of ruled by a conflict between mother and child, huh? Uh, at the moment, the old king recently died. Um, he was a kind king, he was very um, nice to his people. He built all these roads connecting the towns. He, um, what's the word, commissioned the magical circles that you find in each of the towns which links um, the entire nation together. Um, he was recently killed through some sort of form of poison. Okay, and didn't blame each other. The prime suspects are the now current king, who was his son, and the queen. The queen, yeah. And they're now bossing out who did it, kind of. Okay. Yeah, there's Actually. also a brother there, in there, right? Yeah, um... The king's... The old king, the dead king's brother, uh, is missing. He used to command the legion. But now it's but... The, now it's his, the, the old king's son. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, you guys should... Do you, do you have the uh, names, Garth? Because I have the names if you want them. I is apologize. it the older brother, by the for way, now, who went missing? Uh, not for now. I can't really... It will probably confuse me more, I guess. But I'm I'm in the picture. It's good. In the picture. So what's what what's happening, guys? I'll, I mean, we can continue down the path if you want. Altorial pretty desperately wants to get uh, her some plate armor. 
Yeah, but I can't remove it. I've been told I can't use it anyway and not remove it, so... I'll remove it and get it to his blacksmith, that might... Yeah, but I can't remove it. It's what I've been told. He said you will have a hard time, that's all. Can I uh, check the bodies for anything useful? I'd love to, okay. I'll, I'll try sure, and remove yeah. it. Roll an investigation, Murdoch. Um, are you trying to remove the plate armor? Yeah. No, not me. Uh, that's that's going to be a skill check for you, um, Toriel. Skill in what? So, uh, let, let Ooh, me do Murdoch. Yeah, baby. 23. 20. It's 23. And Garth is kind of uh, trying to well uh, keep the cor corpse's dignities and kind of, yeah, try to make actually a, a funeral right out of, well, them basically just uh, looting the corpses. <laughs> okay. So as Garth takes a moment to um, focus in on that soldier spirit inside of him, as he um, imagined these guys died a valiant death. Uh, Marduk jumps on the bodies and begins rifling through pouches, belts, let's look at the inner pockets and such. Um, you Revenge find... Dragon battle has my respect. You can... find 50 gold on one of the bodies. Sweet. We you can... also find an onyx short sword. Onyx? Okay. Onyx? Like the Pokemon. <laughs> he finds yeah, nice. a sword made out of Pokemon. <laughs> Onyx <laughs> like a mineral. I choose you, Fro Sword. How, uh, how do I spell that? Uh, <laughs> uh, o N Y X. We can bury Onyx. them after we've we've got what we need. It is pretty sharp, but not really stable. Well, maybe not in this world. Is it a short sword? Onyx short sword, yeah. No, it's an onyx. It's like a, 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 a minotaur, I think. What? The onyx. Oh, onyx. A minotaur has one eye. No, it's a cyclops, sorry. A minotaur is half a bow. Yeah. The sword of minotaur? What? Maybe it's a horn. Uh, on the other body, the one sitting up. No, not one sitting up, sorry. The face down one. Um, you find 10 gold. And a sealed letter. Are we putting any of it in the party? Get the letter. Can we put the 10 gold in the party fund? Yeah, sure. 10 gold into the party fund. We're currently loaded at the moment. How much do we have there? 1,835. So enough to that buy... Much. That's enough to buy a set of plate armor for one person. Or just one lesser potion of healing. Yeah, it's not not as much as you think. It's a lot of money. You're a queen, you should know that's not that much money. <laughs> um, Man, sealed where letter. Are you from a really poor family? <laughs> really poor... <laughs> Well, I agree with her. Uh, no, can I um, can I check the the seal? Uh, look, uh, do I know who, where it's from? Yeah, you sure you can check that? Um, uh, yeah, this is not only the symbol of the Tremere family, but more specifically, the king's own symbol. Oh, the old king's or the new king? Uh, this is the, a letter from the king. The king, like it's a stamp that the king has. So okay. we open it? Yeah, but basically just the king press the door. Pal Should we uh, open it? We don't know. Mm. We'll, open it. we'll be opening this be against the law. Yeah, but these guys are dead. Uh, yeah, it, you, you well, definitely know, know that. When we already robbed them, so... You, you would know that opening a... Uh, Sealed letter from the king would be considered treason if anybody found out. Then okay. I choose to put my letter in the bag of holding. No! Come on, we all we all want to know. <laughs> and you I know you do. It's yeah. against the law to open this. 
We need to deliver it to the closest uh, town visual or whatever. All right, but well, not for free, eh? I guess. I, mm, maybe we'll be rewarded or be arrested and killed. <laughs> we can't let anyone know of the existence of this letter. So, what do I roll now for the plate armor? Give me a second, I have to pee. Yeah. <laughs> Too much information. Uh, so first, go ahead and make a make a perception uh, investigation check. Come on, Daddy needs a new pair of armor. <laughs> God damn it! Love you, Mom. There go. Investigation, he said. Yeah, that's free. The trend continues. So, um, yeah, this armor is pretty warped, man. Like it's this. It's almost grasping the tree, as if someone yeah, had also, made no the armor for the, the people tree. Who were supposed to deliver the letter, I guess. So no so one will care about the letter at all. Um, the other guy's armor. Uh, taking a look at that, you're 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 not sure how, but it appears to have been bent up inside. And nice. it, this just kind of baffles you in a way. Cool. Um, so go ahead and make a strength check for me. I thought I already. F okay. Come on. Strength. 15. Ooh, 17. Hello. That's 22. Alright, so you, you managed to find enough purchase behind. Um, between the tree and the armor. Uh, you spend the better part of the next five minutes prying this away from the tree. And as you do, just <laughs> the, the tree comes out with it and the body slumps to the floor. So, what do I get now? <laughs> Wait, Father, can't you resurrect people? Maybe you could resurrect one of them and ask them what happened. Like the dead, come you make people zombies. <sighs> I'm not a goddamn necromancer. I am a warlock. How about last time you tried to resurrect the guy you killed to see like it's not a game? What do I get, Jen? There is a spell that does that. That lets you speak with dead, but you'd have to take a long rest to learn that. Yeah, I don't have it. Wait, did I level up? Uh not quite. Okay. Did uh, so, yeah, you've got the body free, he's on the floor, in front of you. I mean, after all these battles, I'm still level 4. Go ahead and make a... I'm only level uh, 3. Yeah, you should be 4, Tiffany. I thought I was only 3. Well, you, I, you probably never bothered to level up with Jim. No, we did level her up. Oh. But you probably didn't just change the number, but you're level 4. So, um... A watch check do we do now? Make an intelligence check. Oh, thanks. Uh, why don't I do that? <laughs> uh, come on, I wanna... 14. 14? Um, nope, that's you... a 7. Uh... <laughs> Hey, I say what I want now, so I don't get twos, but I still essentially do it. I still get twos. So your entire <laughs> lecture <laughs> about if you want a two, you roll a two, <laughs> non-existent. Doesn't work. You can work. see where the armor um, kind of clamps together, you know, the seams of where you would put on this type of armor, but the impact seems to have knocked it in a way which it just confuses you looking at how it parts. If but you'd like, you can try to remove it. I ripped something off with my strength check, didn't I? You ripped the armor and the guy away from the tree trunk. It was wrapped around the tree, like grappling, grappling the tree. That's I how mean, hard he hit. Do I have to know strength check? To it would be a strength check this time. It would be or wouldn't? But you are confused by what you're looking at at the moment. I'll leave it. Nana. Uh, no, perseverance. Strength check? 
Go for it. Fucking hell. Nice. Uh, so Tiffany, Murdoch, and Garth, you guys are kind of watching Toriel at this point. Trying to pry the armor off this. I wasn't this, trying. I was, this, I... this paladin of Bahamut is trying to grab the armor of this dead man on the floor. And I'm disgusted. Oh, 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 oh. And you see uh, oh, oh, scales oh, oh, oh. flex. Toriel, what the hell are you trying to do? Then, Eat them? <sighs> and the no. guy's head goes flying off. I, I, I have to fight that. <laughs> I'm running after the head. And the front part of the armor is torn. Are you sure about that? I was. Now I'm not. And um, You mean you're Toriel. actually gonna eat them? What? No. I was getting the armor. Toriel, in one hand, you're holding the back of the armor. You know that armor... In the other hand, you're holding the front of the armor. Unzips, right? And looking into no. your your left arm, looking where the front of the armor is... I was um, being rhetorical. Part of the guy's chest is now missing. <laughs> um, his 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 intestines and lungs are spilling out of his body, and looking into your other hand, you What's see that the you've actually grabbed of the front part of his body this? and the, the armor. Chen, what's the equivalent of hell in this uh, D and D? Uh, there are many. Uh, the deepest part, uh, <laughs> <laughs> deepest circle. The nine hells. So, <laughs> oh wait, treachery won't work for him. The Nine Hells is probably somewhere where TMI is. <laughs> There's a special place for you, Teriel, in the Nine Hells. <laughs> <laughs> you defiler. Deceiver. Uh, and when I return with the head and just turn it, I think, yeah, most definitely. And then yeah. I hold the head, head for the beard and say, I accuse you of uh, my corpse violation. <laughs> <laughs> Scarf runs back, kind of just nonchalantly flailing have his you, head have, around in front of him. Have you no Fuck respect for the dead? It's poor bad. I start. Yeah, I take out my shovel badness. and start digging the earth. <laughs> okay. You don't have a shovel. I do have a shovel. Oh, okay, cool. All right. Well, it just has to be, have to be have the size of the head. It would be already sufficient, I suppose. Well, and I gently embed the. Uh, uh, head into, yeah, it's a uh, grave. So it looks like brevity. Chen, you, know, Chen, you guys spend uh, the next five to ten minutes. Can I go into stealth, please? This is... So I then go, go, ahead and roll, go ahead and roll stealth. <laughs> what? But for you the also... next five to ten minutes, you guys go ahead um, and dig two reasonably sized graves for these gentlemen around five feet into the earth. You lay their bodies down inside. Garth comes over and lays the head um, Assuming where it would go <laughs> to God, the body that it's gone off. I have uh, some flowers. As you begin to shovel it back in, um, you hear Murdoch just trip and break off like seven tree branches. You turn yes. around and it's just like... What are you doing? Caught in a crazy orc. I would like to pray for them. So do I. Forgive I, I... me for trying to remove your armor. Seeing as you no longer needed it, I thought it was... The correct decision, but it wasn't. So, your suffering has ended, but your bravery shall be found in our memories. I assume you protected the lands. I apologize for my actions. And as you do, Toriel, you open your eyes and you swear for a second you see a platinum tail before it dissipates over the top of these two um, freshly dug graves. Aww. Right, Murdoch, what's what's that sword you got there? That looks amazing. Can I have a look at it? Uh, give uh, out of game. Give me a second, okay? Of course. Chen, you, Wait, can, so can did the tail of Tia, uh, Bahamut appear and take them away, or? Chen, can you tell me the stats of the sword if I want to use it? Uh, yeah. If you give me a moment, I'll send those to you. Okay. Um, but. Toriel, you would know, but your deity is called the Platinum Dragon. Yeah. 
That's that's essentially what I asked. I didn't I didn't remember he was platinum. So it was him. So Bahamath is the platinum dragon? Indeed. I need to write that down. In Final Fantasy, I have a move called where I summon him. Bahamut, there's, yeah. there's also one where you summon Tiamat too, isn't it? Right, though. Actually, what? yeah, he's yeah. is a GF in Final Fantasy VIII. She can yeah. summon Tiamat in Final Fantasy? No, Bahamut. No, Bahamut. Yeah, Bahamut. It's an attack yeah. called Daybreak, I think, and you summon him to have an increased um, mm. damage. Oh, hell yeah, Final Fantasy X also has a Bahamut, right? Yeah, he uses Mega Flare. That shit is but dope! Oh my god, it's that's in all the Final Fantasies, ain't it? Yeah, yeah, Bahamut is like basically the icon for Final Fantasy. He was the first boss of Final Fantasy 1, and ever since he was like an ally or an enemy or a, a ghost or whatever. And like, I think in the Final Fantasy 12 or uh, Legends, the ones uh, they, they like. Uh, Unleash him accidentally, and there's a full war, a uh, full war uh, battle against them, a, a full-scale war against them. That's how. how